channel now today's video is obviously a primark haul now if you're a returning viewer i know what you're thinking wasn't she just here with a primark haul and yes i was that was last week and technically it's a different month so it's okay if you are new here i will link that one down below because obviously everything is still in there because it was literally only last week um but yeah i had half an hour to kill while i was waiting for my nail appointment and that happened i was like oh gosh but you know what it's like you can't leave stuff because it won't be there next time i go so i had to pick it up and i've got some gorgeous stuff to show you as always i'll try everything on and let you know the prices and sizes of everything but without further ado let's get into the video right first thing i grabbed was this cohort now it wasn't together in the shop as a cohort in fact i saw this cardigan and i thought oh, i really like that but then i was like oh i've got another gray cardigan that's just silly walked away and left it but then I was walking past the sale aisle and saw this skirt, which was in the sale for like seven pounds. This was 13, not in the sale. So I walked, grabbed this, walked back over to that and I was like, it's a cohort. So it was a cohort for like 20 pounds, so 13 and seven pounds. Um, I got this one in a small, cause that's all there was left. And this one in a small as well. But honest to God, this makes the most perfect cohort. I've worn it already. There's a picture over on my Instagram if you want to see it. Um, but yeah, I'll whack this on and just show you. But it was just so nice. It's just like, even if just for chilling at home. I mean, I actually went out to lunch in it. I mean, I felt a bit of an idiot because it was sunny when I put it on. And when I left the house, it was snowing. But I went with it because I felt, I felt well bougie. So I wore it anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'll pop it on and show you what it looks like on. So here's that co-ord on. I was so happy with this. The skirt, that's the length of it. If I stand at the back, it's got a little slit on the side. Um, but yeah, it's just like so easy to throw on and feel put together, which I like. And it's dead comfortable running around with the kids. So yeah, I was really happy with this one. Obviously, labels are out. I've worn it out. It's staying. Um, next thing I picked up was this like blazer. I don't know if it was meant to be a blazer dress. I don't think I would wear it as a dress. People might, maybe if you're shorter than me, I'm five foot six for reference. Um, but I think it would just be, yeah, too revealing on me. Um, but it was £23 and I got it in a size 10. I'm hoping it's going to fit. It did like The size did look quite small, I thought. Um, but I, I went for a 10. I haven't tried anything else on other than this. So it will all be a surprise. Um, but yeah, I just thought, you know, obviously if you didn't wear it on its own, just with a pair of like tight leather trousers underneath or like, I don't think tights would work. But yeah, maybe like a tight pair of leather trousers could look really, really smart. And it, do you know what? The quality actually of it, I mean, I know it was £23. It's a little bit higher than kind of a normal top from Primark. But I did think it feels more like Zara, honestly. It feels like that kind of vibe. I've seen these very similar things in Zara. So yeah, let's pop it on and see how it fits and if, uh, if it works with the leather trousers. Here's the cream blazer dress on. I've got to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed. I thought it was going to be too small and it's actually the opposite and it's too baggy and big. Um, and the front, you'd have to wear a bralette or like pin it there because it's so revealing. And I can also confirm I couldn't wear it alone because I'd probably get arrested. So if you're like my height or taller, then you definitely would need to plan on wearing something underneath. Um, or not, more power to you. Um, but yeah, disappointed, but never mind. I might try the eight when I take this one back. Um, but it's probably going to be the story of my life. I'm eight's too small, ten's too big. I'm basically a nine, but that doesn't exist. So moving on. Um, next thing I grabbed were these brown trousers. Now I really like these. I saw them last week actually, and then but it was on my way out the shop and I couldn't bother to queue up. So when I saw them this time, I thought I'll grab them and give them a go. Um, I got them in a size ten, and they were fifteen, I think. Yeah, fifteen. There's no tag thing on there, so I think they were fifteen. I'll check the receipt and let you know if it's any different. Um, but I keep seeing. I think she's called Lorna Lux on Instagram. She's got a pair. Obviously, I doubt hers from Primark. However, we're all about recreating looks on a budget. Um, they've got like little zips at the bottom. So yeah, I thought these could look nice with like a cream jumper or something like that. So we'll try them on and see how they fit. Right. For those of you who know who Lorna Lux is, um, tell me, guys, do I look like her in this outfit? What do you think? Bet Lorna Lux doesn't have this problem. Oh my gosh, I cannot even get them on. Not even anywhere close. I could cope with it if it was like a little bit tight and I could like squeeze in and not breathe. I can cope with that. I literally am bulging outside. If I go anymore, I'm going to break the zip. I've spent five minutes and now I'm sweating trying to get in these. And I've just tried a dress on in a size 10 and it was too big. And I would always get a size 10 from Primark. So I don't know what's going on with the sizes. But if you've seen these and you like them, then prepare to size up about four sizes or you'll feel like horrid, like I have, like, oh my God, I'm trying to squeeze my like love handles into these. It's not happening. So yeah, a little bit disappointed in that, if I'm honest. Anyway, moving swiftly on, because I need to get out of these because they are making me feel horrid. I can literally feel my skin bulging out of the way. Let's get the sunglasses off. Um, right, 
let's hope it's gonna get better from here i'm pretty sure so i picked up this top gorgeous top it's like the um what do they call it brodery on glaze is it something like that um just really really nice i thought this was a really good like spring summer piece it was 13 pounds and i got it in size 10 let's see if it fits um and they call it a crew it's kind of like a kind of off whitey kind of color like creamy color um but i just thought this in the summer just really easy outfit just with like some jeans definitely not these trousers um yeah it could look really cute this is a bit more like it primark this top is gorgeous i can just see this in the summer maybe even on holiday just with either like some denim shorts or some jeans um yeah i really really like this the material feels nice i think they did have it in another color as well i think maybe like a pink um but yes here it is on and i really like it Okay, so next up i grabbed these vintage mum jeans these are in the white um i've been looking for these for ages i got them in a size 10 and they were 15 pounds i've pretty much got the mum jeans in every like shade going so i thought this is the only pair missing in my collection they fit really nicely the quality is really good i do like the top shop ones but i don't really want to spend that amount of money on a white pair because i've got three children so they'll probably inevitably get ruined um but i won't cry so hard if i've only spent 15 and not like 40 pounds so we'll try these on and hopefully they fit as nice as the other do okay so here's the mum jeans on i really like these they fit just as nicely as the rest of them they usually come rolled up twice so you can roll them down obviously if you want them to be that little bit longer but i just chucked it on with this top because this is kind of how i'd wear it now that like while the weather's still a little bit colder but it's so pretty and will look so nice in the summer with some little pretty tops so i'm super happy with these um next thing that i grabbed was this camel cardigan now i really like the detail on this so it's nice rib material it's got the tortoiseshell buttons i picked it up in a small which is 10 to 12 and it was 13 pounds it's got like a tie around the waist as well um, and it's sort of like three quarter length but i just thought this is just a simple one for like chucking on over the top of other outfits um it actually looked quite nice with these jeans as well so yeah i'll pop this on and we'll see how it fits here's that cardigan on i really like this i like the length of it i like these two slits it's got in the side just for a bit of added detail it's just nice just to chuck on for an extra layer over of like quite a plain outfit and um, i like the color it's not itchy at all so yeah super happy with this one okay i'll quickly show you these joggers that i picked up just a basic really um i've had these in loads of colors before the quality of them's really good they're only five pounds and i got them in a size small which is 10 to 12. this color's oatmeal so it's one color that i don't own but i'm really into my neutrals so i thought i had to grab these so i'll pop these on just show you what they fit like i really like these i like the way the legs are like tighter fitted i think it makes them look a little bit smarter even just an outfit like this it's nice for just doing the school running um even an airport outfit you'd be super cozy and comfortable in so yeah super happy with these right and last item of clothing i've got to show you is this black dress so it's v-neck it's got short sleeved and then it's sort of tiered down towards i'd probably say it's about knee length but you'll see it better in the try on clip um it was only eight pounds and i got it in a size 10 so my kind of vision for this was like biker boots a leather jacket i just thought it'd make quite a simple but effective outfit and for eight pounds if it works is a bargain and here's that dress on with the boots i really like it i really like the length as well actually um it's not too short if you like running around after the kids or whatever um but yeah just with a nice jacket on i think it needs to heat up a little bit for me to get my legs out right now um but when it does i think this is great and for eight quid just a bargain okay last couple of bits that i picked up were shoes now i've seen these shoes in there the past few times i've been in there and i've just walked on by because i've had them before and i wear them and i end up getting such bad blisters in my feet because they're so rigid at the back that they just hurt too much for some reason when i was in there the other day i just felt these these are not the same it's like primark have answered my prayers honestly they're soft backed so that means no more blisters no more painful wearings in no more having to go and ditch these and buy a different pair at lunchtime because I physically can't walk. I, honest to God, I'm so happy about this. They're only £6. There was all the colours in these, but clearly the shelves have been raided because everybody else had felt them too. Um, but trust me, if I can see any more colours, I will be getting them because these are brill. Because I end up getting the backless ones and they're just no good when it's this cold because your feet are just freezing. So to have a proper shoe that's not going to give me blisters, I am over the moon other pair of shoes that i got were these flip flops i just thought these were really simple but effective they were only six pounds um, and they're in this tan color it's just the bright shade of tan i always struggle to find the right shade of tan but i think this is it so it looks so nice on holiday with like a really crisp white outfit white jeans that kind of thing they've just got like the one sort of strap across the toe and then these two to go across your foot but i just thought these are going to be perfect for holiday and a bargain at six pounds 
and that brings us to the end of the video i really hope you enjoyed seeing what i picked up if you did like the video then please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and if you're not following me over on instagram then head over there it's at katie walklet but for now bye